you just type site and a colon and then the web address of the website that you want to search. So I'm going to search the Newcastle Council website um, for information about leisure centres. So I just type in the website address and then I'm going to type leisure centres and press enter. Um, so you see these search results have all come from the Newcastle Council website um, and the search term that I've used is leisure centres. So I'm going to click on the top one, sports clubs and centres, and that's the information I want. This is great for sites that don't have a very good inbuilt search. You can look up the meaning of a word by typing define and then a colon and the word you want to define. So I'm going to put irony. And there we are, there's dictionary definition of irony. If you want more information, just click that arrow and it will give you various definitions and the origin of the word and pronunciation guides. If you want to do a more advanced search on Google, simply go down to the settings at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Uh, click on that and choose the second option down, which is advanced search. And that will give you all kinds of options for refining your search. So you can search for exact phrases or you can exclude certain words from your search. Or you could search ranges of numbers, all kinds of things like that. Um, you can do this from the normal search box by using um, shortcuts, which are helpfully pointed out to the right here. You can search by image, which is very handy if you want to find the source of a photo or if you want more information about a product. Simply go up to images um, and you'll see a little camera next to the search bar. If you click that, it will let you upload your own image from your computer. So I'm going to upload the cover of a book. Um, so I'm going to browse for the image. There it is. It's the cover of Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's going to upload the image and hopefully it will tell me some more information about the book and here we are it's got information all about the book when it was published who wrote it etc and best of all I can immediately go and buy a copy of it from Amazon if I wanted to I might want to find PowerPoints that are on time management, but I don't want lots of web pages about time management. So I'm simply going to search for time management, but then put file type and colon and PPT, which stands for PowerPoint. And now you can see that all the results that have been returned are actual PowerPoint files on the subject of time management. Simply type related and a colon and then the web address of the site that you want to search. So restaurantguide.com and this should bring up related sites. So now you can see I've got restaurants.co.uk, I've got a pub food guide, I've got top table, London restaurants. So that's handy if you want to find similar sites to some of your favourites. Simply type your calculation into Google and it'll work it out for you. So and it will bring up um, a calculator panel so you can do complicated sums or simple sums using the on screen calculator. There. Type weather and your location for a quick weather forecast. Type your flight number directly into Google to get flight information. So I'm typing in an EasyJet number and there are the details of the flight departing Newcastle and arriving in Bristol. To convert from different units, just type the units into Google. So I'm going to do pounds to dollars and it will bring up a currency converter for you. Um, so you can change the different values in here um, and the corresponding values will change. You can also um, convert from lots of different currencies into lots of other currencies. You can also use it to convert different units. So if you wanted to know how many five miles in kilometres, for instance, um, it'll just bring the results up straight away at the top. You can get uh, do a postcode search straight from the Google search bar. So um, you could look up a postcode of a venue or a friend's house. I'm going to put in the postcode for the Lang Art Gallery in Newcastle and hopefully this should bring up a map. And there it is, a uh, map to the Lang Art Gallery. And if you click on that, it'll take you through to Google Maps. 
type do a barrel roll into Google and see what happens. And that's your lot. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more um, tips, tech advice and videos, do go to www.teachmetech.co.uk.